Hello and welcome to the video. Welcome back to my office. If you are a regular here, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nick and I am a reseller. I buy stuff, all this stuff you can see around me here, and I sell it on the internet for profit. That's how I earn a living. Now, this week I have got involved in a listing challenge. Um, there's now quite a few of us involved in this. We're all going to track how much we list throughout this week. It's Monday right now. And next Monday, we're gonna to get together and compare how many items we managed to list for the whole week and the combined uh, amount financially that that stuff was worth. So today I have started by listing, I got a big media haul a couple of weeks back. I've been plowing through that. Um, so far I have listed 487 pounds worth of media uh, and most of it is listed as you can see. Um, yeah, some of it wasn't as great as I'd hoped. Some of it is really good. Um, so yeah, it's working out an average of, I guess about seven or eight pounds is the average I'm getting back so far on these. Um, so it's not too bad. But I also have loads and loads of other stocks, stuff we bought at the boot sales recently, stuff that's coming down from the loft. So I have plenty to be going on with. Um, I've been chatting to some of the other lads. Um, they're off to a flying start. So I think I'm already playing catch up. George is involved. He's listing really high value fancy pants items. And I'm here listing CDs. Um, but it's gonna be interesting. So I'll check in at the end of the day and um, let you know how I got on on Monday. Right, it's now much later. I have been listing all day and I have listed all of the media that was here. This is just some vinyl that's mine. All of that media has been dealt with. Most of it is now on eBay. I have done a couple of private deals with subscribers. You know who you are, thank you very much. And I've also sent um, some of the stuff to the media buyers where I thought it was appropriate. Um, they're all ready to go. So we now have, stepping over stuff because my office is a mess. We now have the stuff that's on eBay all done and dusted there. And we've already sold a few bits, which is nice. Now I'm not gonna list that much more today. I did do pictures earlier for this unicycle so I'm going to get that researched in a sec and list that I've no idea how much it's worth but I'm going to get that on and then I think I'm going to call it a day so I'll see you in a minute and it will be Tuesday it's not Tuesday it's still Monday I forgot to um, update you with what I've managed to achieve today so new listings was 43 new listings on eBay for a grand total of 752 pounds. Now, as you may have seen when we went across to the media, um, a lot of that was multiples, um, which is why it's only 43 listings, but the, the total value is quite high. So that was today's um, listing. Well, I'm gonna stick that unicycle on still in a minute. So that will be added to these totals, but quite happy with that. I was very pleased to get that media out of the way. I wanted to get it listed, starting it, you know, start that ticking over. Um, I don't think much of that's going to be particularly fast selling stuff. So it needs to just be on so it can slowly tick away. So there you go. So now when I come back, it will be Tuesday. Right. Good morning. It's now Tuesday and the media has started selling, which is good. So I'll quickly show you uh, from what I listed yesterday, uh, the items that have sold already. So Amy has ordered two Stone Roses albums, their debut, which is this classic, one of my all time favorite albums and the second coming, which was good, but no, not a patch on their first album. Uh, also sold uh, pretty years and then we've sold Deer Hunter and John Grant one of my favorites he's absolutely brilliant um, so thanks Andy for those I oh, know Andy sorry 
export blur park life and stereophonics uh, this is the steelbook edition so thanks there was a note on that from Andy so the media has started selling well which is good very good um, I've done about 50 pounds worth no over 50 pounds worth of media that I just showed you there and with the bits that I sent to the music buyers and a couple of private sales I've pretty much broken even on that entire purchase already so that's fantastic so everything else that's listed when it sells after fees and shipping will be profit so that's good so today still on this listing challenge obviously um, I've got stuff lurking here that's all ready to go um, so I'm going to start um, prepping and listing stuff so I will see you later okay hello it's quite a while later now I haven't done much in the way of listing I've been busy but doing all sorts of other stuff but I have now sorted out loads of stock it's sweltering hot here at the moment it's just absolutely boiling I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm working on now you may have seen in a recent haul I bought a load of bum genius uh, reusable nappies they are these um, and they're looking really good I was thinking about bundling the whole lot but I think I'd do a lot better selling them individually or maybe in pairs I'm not 100% sure yet but looking at completed um, you're probably not gonna be able to see this but about 20 pounds uh, is achievable per individual nappy and we've got nine of them Wow, I need a shave. I'm starting to look really scruffy. Uh, we've got nine here, so if I can get 20 each on them, that's an obvious 180 pound. And there's a few extras and bits. Reusable baby wipes, for example. They'll all have a, a value. So that's what I've been researching. And then I've also been, I've got, I found some more car parts. I thought everything was listed, but not quite. I found a load of bulbs. So they're going on as a bundle. Uh, I've just uh, cleaned and tested this Kenwood, so that's ready to go. Some very cool maps, a couple of local interest ones, a couple of old ones of Luton. Not much value in those, but this I think will do quite well. It's Milton Keynes from 7980, and that city has changed so much since then. This map is really quite fascinating. We've got some plush, this Lemay's. Uh, this Care Bear that we showed recently turns out is a really good one. We're going to aim top end of about 30 on him. And here's a Bing. And then I've got, because the weather's turned really good, everybody's out in their garden. If you've got any gardening tools, get them listed. Got this Bosch, whoops, uh, Strimmer. Um, I'm glad I opened it up. It's actually brand new, but I opened it up to get some pictures and realized it's one of those that has an interchangeable battery so this is just the strimmer there's no battery so you'd have to use your pre-existing battery or buy a separate one so i'm glad i became aware of that before i just listed it um and a load more stuff um we had an annoying return we had loads of these ps4 pads in i sold out almost straight away somebody uh received it opened it and returned it um, so the seal has gone but it's not been used uh, the guy wanted one with a headphone jack I think it was and it didn't have it so that's annoying so I've got to write a listing for that and do it as new other basically new but open packet but that won't take long oh, we've got other random things a little pack of tens machine electrodes this bar compass that you may have seen in a recent haul just random stuff we picked up recently in these gamecube games so yeah and there's loads and loads more ready to go so that's my task now is to get everything i've just shown you listed by the end of the day so i'll check in a bit later and let you know how i've done totals wise and uh, if i manage to list that lot well hello that wraps it up for tuesday um had a really good day 
listed loads of stuff it was really hot all day I've been taking pictures in the garden of bulky stuff that was cool got some really nice pictures out in the sunlight um, one of the things I pictured in the garden has sold already and it's this guitar this is uh, it's like a semi-acoustic electric guitar it's quite a nice thing did my research on it and then aimed higher than I thought I would get and it sold quick I was very surprised that has gone already for hold on I can't remember now is it 80 80 79.99 uh, that's to include shipping uh, had a message from the lady who's down in Dover uh, really happy to get it um, so yeah really pleased with that so that's going to take a bit of careful packing tomorrow and I've also sold this the um, the unicycle that I briefly showed I think I showed it in this video I can't remember um, anyway this came down from the loft it's been sat up there for ages um, another thing that I took pictures of in the garden in the nice bright sunlight I really didn't think this would sell and it's actually got a flat tire um, I was going to declare that and then I thought oh, it won't sell when it when it eventually sells whenever I'll repair the puncture uh, it sold quick I didn't list it particularly high because it wasn't branded it wasn't anything special there was loads of really cool ones all over eBay but it sold it didn't sell for a great deal like I say let's have a look um, da -da -da, 24 99 plus nine pound shipping so 34 all in but it means tomorrow I've now got to take time out to uh, get that puncture repaired which won't take long but it's just another job right um, but yeah it's been a really productive day so numbers because we are still on this listing challenge uh, so for Tuesday we have listed a grand total of 26 new items um, for a total a monetary total of 723 pounds so there we go so very happy with the first two days I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here I'm not sure if I'll film the rest of the week you'll have to tune in on Monday when I will be joined by um, Derek and Andrew and George and I think Josh is joining in with this now I'm, I'm really not sure who's doing this um, when we will compare notes so I will wrap this video up here and you can tune in on Monday next Monday to find out how I did for the whole week take care thanks for watching and I'll see you soon